It demonstrates the impact that engineering has on an ever-changing world. This is really impacting the minds of, of young potential engineers. It's an opportunity for the students to show what they can do. I think for 100 years we've kind of had the right recipe. It's a showcase of what Illinois has to offer. And this one year blip is not going to end it, it's not going to change it. This is what they're dedicating their lives to, to inspire people from the community that maybe don't feel like they can do it too. What do I think of? From my standpoint, I think of 20,000 people in, on the engineering quad. My name is Jennifer Sands. My name is Imad Jassim. Clint Harper. My name is Daniel Meyer. Jason Merritt. Edward Chainani. And we pretty much help coordinate with the students the event itself. EOH is a two-day event in which we showcase all of our student exhibits, what the students are working on, and what they are part of in the college in terms of their organization. I'm Emma Sumenti. I'm a senior in Agricultural and Biological Engineering, and I'm the director for Engineering Open House 2020. I'm Brandon Wong. I am a junior major in Computer Science, and this year for EOH 100, I'm the senior corporate director. My name is Emily Roth. I am a junior in Systems Engineering and Design. My position is actually Director of Exhibits. I'm Michael Gill. I'm a senior in Industrial Engineering and my role with EOH is the MRDC Director. That's a Midwestern Robotics Design Competition. My role for EOH is generally setting up and coordinating all of the exhibits happening at ECEB. Primarily my role is trying to make sure that the students have the resources. I would say it's pretty clear cut as to what we are responsible for. We basically give them the tools to make the event successful. We let them handle most of the responsibilities in contacting public safety, facilities and services, public affairs. I'm Jenny Nugent. I'm a first year master's student in civil engineering. In my role this year on EOH to be the grad advisor for the committee. I'm Sujal. I'm in electrical engineering. I'm currently a senior and I'm the secretary treasurer for EOH. Something that you don't even realize really when you're visiting is you don't realize that all the exhibitors are students and the whole committee that plans it is all students. They set up their websites, crowdsource. Yeah, this is, like I said, a student run event. What do people think of? They think of it as they like to see what our current students are working on, especially with how things change with technology and innovation. Some of the exhibits, Tesla Coil, it's been around for a while. Robo Brawl, uh, that's come around in the last seven years. Here they go. That, along with the Midwest Robotics Design Competition, are probably our biggest. There's a lot of milestones that we have to hit, but some of the biggest revolve around organizing our student exhibitors. This year I'm in charge of kind of overseeing all the exhibit registration and placement and kind of just working with the exhibitors directly. We have about over 200 for sure, so it's, it's a lot of work, but it's super, super fun and to be able to like collaborate with each group. We'll have all of our exhibits registered by the end of January. Um, and then we'll go into a process of fitting those exhibits in where they should be going. Our corporate team is constantly working to secure sponsors, both so that those companies can show off the innovations that they've been making in tech and also so that we're able to support our exhibitors. Getting ads, getting logos, trying to get the rep names, and then on, on the event just helping out with the representatives. And so that's one of the, the first milestones is, is actually providing funding and space to these student societies so that they're able to actually accomplish a lot by the time Engineering Open House comes along. The Engineering uh, 
Design Council, we uh, have a certain amount of funding we give out to each student group that applies. As the year goes on, they go through their competitions. All of them are basically required to give a presentation or a table at EOH as part of their outreach. One of the bigger ones is the Midwestern Robotics Design Competition. It's for university and college level teams across the Midwest to design robots to compete in different challenges. And last year I did a high school design competition, which is where a bunch of high school teams from around the area come to EOH to compete in a Rube Goldberg um, competition. So, have you ever seen how do you me balls one or two? Yes. Okay, so this is number three. MSDC Middle School Design Competition is a smaller competition for younger students where they compete in sort of a classic science experiment. This year's competition is the Egg Drop Challenge where they have to design a little device to hold an egg and not uh, break the egg when it's dropped off the second floor of the ECEB staircase. For a lot of these competitions, EOH is the deadline. They want to get their vehicle, their robots, uh, all of these things done by Engineering Open House. So it, it actually starts very early. I like to think of it as, because it's a public event, like an event that's open to the public, and we want everyone to have fun, obviously. But we also want to avoid any untoward incidents, right? Whether it's a traffic safety, exhibit safety that uh, would, Im would uh, impact the public, right, and make sure that this experience, like I said, is, is smooth and, and that's problem-free for everyone. The event would not happen if we didn't have the students, and I personally, and I know other people, other staff involved, we do not want to take this event over as a college or a university. We want this to continue to be a student-run event. It's really important to inspire people from the community that might not have access to education or maybe don't feel like they can do it too. To really see what they've achieved in a fairly short period of time is really impressive. Historically speaking, there have there were a few years where it was just uh, yeah, just the electric show.